Why they still hate? Why they still hate? I don't know. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. Uh huh. Pull up in my nation, why they still hate? Sons of God stand up before me. We ain't got time for no car cage. You feelin' our people head up with abomination. Waiting for the Lord, we still patient. Truth coming out, it's real blade. I got a holy die, I don't eat bacon. Watching out for them gutter rats, they still fake. They ain't no Jew, we the real Jews. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Had to cut them up with a script right quick. Had to let them know I ain't no church dude. Nah, I ain't no church dude. I'm an Israelite, all about war. Pull a sword, gotta show the man what the verse do. Came with a friend, he gon' do himself a hearse too. Y'all, y'all, y'all should've known I don't play like that. Cut him up once, then he came right back. Cut him up again, then he fell right back. I don't get why he wanna catch a fade like that. I think he played himself. Oh, yeah. I think he played himself. We the best in the world, that's top shelf. We the Israelites coming for your wealth. Rain forever, we gon' do it big. Break the nations like a little twig. In the streets, we get it in. We got precepts that'll split your wig. Why they still hate? I don't know. Why they still hate? I'm putting on for my nation. I heard it teach, uh, teach our people who they are, according to the Bible, to teach y'all. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, then we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. And then we went to slavery for breaking God's laws. And it's sad as hell that Memphis, we have had 60 homicides already in the new year ain't started. And the new year ain't been, how long we been in the new, the new year? 100 days, bro. 90 days. 60 homicides in 90 damn days, that's sad. Give me Isaiah 3 and 5. It's time for our people to wake the hell up, especially East Memphis. Of Isaiah uh -huh. chapter 3 verse 5 and the people shall be oppressed every one by another see that's the problem our people we being oppressed by e each other we being oppressed by our slave mouth and it's sad that we being oppressed by each other it said everybody gonna be oppressed by their neighbor read and everyone by his neighbor and everyone by his neighbor read the child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient. The child shall, he, he shall what? The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient. And that's how our young men are. They act proud against the ancient men, meaning they don't have no respect for the older men in their communities. And y'all don't have no respect for us. That's what's wrong. Why? It's bad parenting. It's the damn parents' fault. Bring it out. It's our time that we awake out of sleep. It's our time that we teach our kids this Bible. To teach our kids that they are the greatest thing walking this planet Earth. Right, right. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 28. The black man always mad. If you buy some new joints, a nigga step on your new joints. Because that's what you call each other, niggas. You, a negro step on your new joints, guess what you gonna do? You gonna kill him. And that's sad. For over for a two hundred and fifty dollar pair of shoes, a Negro lose his life every other Saturday. Read the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight, verse twenty eight. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Most High is smiting us, our men, with madness. Read and blindness, and our men are blind. Our men are blind to this Bible. Our people are blind to this Bible. Our people are spiritually blind. To see that that is a life that the Bible speaks of. The curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15 through 68. These curses are falling upon you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because of your disobedience. Read. And the astonishments of heart and astonishment of heart. We are a great wonder to the other nations. Y'all wonder why we're in the condition that we're in? It's because you don't love your neighbor as yourself. Bring it out. That's why. 60 homicides. 60 homicides. Why? Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14. Start at verse 24. It's our time we awake up to sleep. How you doing, bro? If you got time, pour your cold. I know our people got uh, questions. You don't got questions on the 60 homicides in 90 days? Is that, is that black lives matter? That show you right there. Black lives don't matter in the black community. Our people gonna drive up and down Winchester and Hickory Hill. You know, it, hey. Only thing you gotta do is park your car. Whatever question you got, we gonna answer out this Bible. That's right. We ain't like your pastor. That's Look right. at all these big churches out here on Winchester and Hickory Hill. They ain't doing nothing but sucking you up for your money. Right. Read that for my. The book of 
book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 24. Yeah. They kept neither lives. Our people, it says they kept neither lives. We don't care about each other's lives. Y'all get on national TV and say Black Lives Matter once a so-called white police officer killed one of our young men. Y'all to get on TV and say Black Lives Matter. Y'all right. But yet we done had 60 homicides in 90 days. Right. But Black Lives Matter. Black lives don't matter in the black community because it's a it's a, it's normal to us. We've been taught to hate each other too long. It's our time that we stop hating each other and come together in this Bible. That's the only way we can come together, through the word of God. Anything else a black man can't come together on. Bring it up. Read. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 24. They kept neither lives, nor marriage, nor what? Nor marriages. Nor marriages. That's another reason these Negroes get killed out here. Committing adultery. You women too. Our men and women are getting killed because of adultery and fornication. That's another way we uh, we lose a, a, a life to uh, uh, one of our people. Because of adultery. This running rapid in the black community. Negro walk in his house and see another man on top of his wife. What the hell you think he gonna do? <laughs> what the hell you think he gonna do? Look it up, what would you do? You walk in your house, you pay rent, you pay a light bill, you walk in your house and your wife in the bed with somebody else. What you gonna do? Let's get down, uh, let's see what's, uh, what, what the price is for a door. Let's go to Exodus. Hold that, let's go to Exodus. And y'all wonder why it's been 60 homicides in 90 days. 60 homicides, that's sad. And it's still going up as we speak. Give me Exodus chapter 20. If this in the Ten Commands, but y'all go to church every Sunday. Y'all know the Ten Commands, but y'all don't even go by. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20. Verse 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Y'all hear that? Black man, black woman, you hear that? It says, thou shalt not commit a dodge. But the black one, the black woman, she loves jumping from rod to uh, from rod to rod. And the black man, he like jumping from woman to woman. This what we've been taught. But guess what? We heard to break that damn cycle. Yes, you know, I, it, we heard to break that cycle. We tired of you men and women committing adultery and our people dying by the hands of another black person. There's two people, there's uh there's two people that, that they didn't get out of the way. One dead and one in jail. Yeah, we gonna get there. How you doing, bro? I see you listening. You know who do you know who we doing? Come on, give me uh, about five minutes of your time. Give me five minutes of your time. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. We showing our people who they are according to the Bible. We not blacks, we not Hispanics, we not Native Americans. We are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. And our people went into slavery for breaking God's law. Come yeah. around here for me. Go, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 46. Come around here for me. This is this. How you doing, bro? What's your name? King Darius. Darius? Hey, can you find yourself on this sign? This is the name our slave master gave us. These are our biblical names. Can you find your, your tribe? What they call you? What you put on your application? African American? Black? I'm an individual citizen. I'm a private citizen. I ain't no corporation, no. We ain't corporation, we ain't none of that. This a nationality. So what's your nationality? Comedic. Comedic. Who got the uh, Zonovan Bible Dictionary? By whose though? Who's, who's, what is that from though? What? It can't come from Hebrew or... Uh, this ain't Hebrew. No, I'm just saying what version it come from. Like, this King James Version Bible. Home, who, this right here, this shows King James. King James. King James was a uh, King James of Scotland before he was King James of England. He was a black man that was authorized to get the Bible translated. He wrote the demonology. He wrote the book demonology and he was a he Give me that. Was homosexual. He was not no homosexual. Let me ask you a question, Darius. Let me ask you something, Darius. If you die tomorrow, 15 years after that, and I say, Darius, 
Y'all know that nigga, he was gay as hell. What people gonna start to think? But they gonna start to think you was gay as hell. Why? Because you ain't there to defend yourself. Whoa. This but the look, same thing that happened to King proof, James. Is it not proof about King James? No, it ain't is proof. It Give me proof. Is it not show me proof. William Shakespeare. Give me first this and only five and 21. Who you know? Let me show you something, bro. How can you, how can you have Let me show you something. They murdered our ancestors. First, now, this book didn't murder our ancestors. This book is our history book. This book ain't our ancestors. This is our ancestor book. I like what y'all doing. If you like what we were doing, you would sit down and talk. Give me Amos 3 right fast. I'm going to show you how we're going to come together. Give me Amos 3 and 3. Let me show you something. Let me show you about the Bible that somehow come together. Let me show you. Read. Hey, the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 3. Can two go together? Accept, they be agreed. Yeah, hey, let me answer one question at a time. All right, now, you, hey, you said we can, can we come together? I'm gonna show you. Read. Don't, don't none pre-exist the Bible, bro. Don't none pre-exist the Bible. Don't none pre-exist Adam. Do you know where that come from? Adam Do you know where it come from? Adam is not Adam. It's a man. It's Adam. It's anything contains man. You see this? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 28 again, bro. You do the Roman 28 again. Listen to this. Listen to this, bro. Do the Roman 28 and 28. Don't fuck with Deuteronomy. Chapter 28. Verse 28. Feel me? The Lord shall be the Lord. Adam is not a man. It's the ADM. It's the ACO. The most high has smite now people with man. Hold on. 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 You are spiritually blind to this Bible, but you don't know who you are. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We are gods. Jesus said this. We are gods. The Israelites. Not no comedics. Not no comedic. Hey, how are you committed? We still brother at the end of the day. How are you committed? This ain't a white man book. Give me first Peters. You going by the King James. Get me a first Peters. You ain't even going from the Hebrew. You say you committed, right? Who wrote that? Who whatever you studying, who wrote it? Now what's in our blood out of, out of Israelites? This was in your blood. Read that for me. First Peter. Give me first Peter's two. Now second Peter's two. Second Peter's one. Listen to this. You said who wrote the Bible, right? Watch this, read. The book of Second Peter. Got a fact, go to uh, Psalm 68 and 11. You said who wrote this Bible? I'm finna show you. Psalm 68, verse 11. Then we're gonna go to Second Peter's 1 and 21. See, that's what wrong with our people. Our people are spiritually blind out here. Right. And y'all wonder why we go through it. Y'all wonder why it's been 60 homicides in 90 damn days. Bring it up. Y'all don't listen to nothing but a lying pastor and your damn oppressor. Everything that you have learned, you learn from your oppressor. That's right. Everything that you learn, you learn from your oppressor. The black man always want to be committed. That's right. Because when you, when you ask the committed, or oh, these so-called uh, comedic, these uh, Egyptologists, how do they get the hieroglyphics on the wall? Who decoded the hieroglyphics on the wall? A damn white man. A white man decoded the hieroglyphics on the wall. Everybody, everybody in this Bible was black. The most loud, give me Exodus 11 and 8 real quick. Everybody in this Bible was black. The Bible is full of black men. Bring it out. We can't come. We ain't come together with no robbers unless you repeat a robber. Right. We ain't come together with no drug dealers unless you stop drug dealing. That's why every major movement, the black man held, it gets shut down. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 11, verse 7. But against of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord shall put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. God put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. That's right. All black people are the same people, it is what it is. Right. The Israelites was black and the Egyptians was black. I'm gonna ask y'all something. Y'all know these Africans out here? Do these Africans treat you like they, you, they, uh, you their brother? Hell no, you go in the corner. You go in the corner store, they treat you the same way the white man treat you. You wanna know why? Cause God said he put a difference between who? The Egyptians and Israel. We the Israelites. We the Israelites. Give me Genesis chapter 50 verse 11. Y'all come around here. Let me show you something real quick. We the Israelites. He said, I put a difference between you Africans and you Israelites. Right. Yeah. The white man called you African, so he won't, so you wouldn't learn that you was Israelite. That's so right. you wouldn't learn that you was God chosen people. Because in the beginning, all races was black. That's right. We know that. 
But don't come over here with this Egyptology stuff where you get a, well, a white man and sat up there and went over there and said, hey, I think this is what the hieroglyphics say on the wall. And then put it in a book, and then you come and try to teach somebody. Like, then you, you try to say this is the white man book when you just got a book that the white man decoded. When this is our history, That's Genesis right. 50 verse 11. Now, look, I've been approved to you that all the Israelites was compared. Israelites was black people, so called Hebrews. Let me show you that the Hebrews look just like Hamites or so called Africans. Listen to this the book of Genesis, chapter 50, verse 11. And when the inhabitants, I mean, start at uh, 7, let's tell me. The book of Genesis, chapter 50, verse 7. And Joseph went up to bury his father. So Joseph was a Hebrew. Joseph was an Israelite. That's right. Read. And with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was Egyptian or a Hamite. See, what you got to understand, you got Israelites and you got Hamites. Read. The elders of his house. And all the elders of the land of Egypt. All the elders of the land of Egypt was with him, read. And all the house of Joseph and his brethren and his father's house. Only their little ones and their flocks and their herds they left in the land of Goshen. So now you got Hebrews and you got the Egyptians together. But listen to what they're going to say when, they, when uh, the people of the land see the Hebrews and the Egyptians rolling together, read. And there we know with him both chariots and horsemen. And it was a very great company. And they came to the threshing floor of Ajax, which is beyond Jordan. And there they born with a great and very sore lamentation. Because Jacob had died and Jacob's name was just changed to Israel. So Joseph, Pharaoh in his house, Joseph and his brothers, all they were, all them was together. Read. And he had a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the fourth Atan, they said, This is a gracious mourning to the Egyptians. That this is a grievous mourning to the Egyptians. So what did they call the Hebrews that was there with? What did they call the Hebrews that was there with? They called them Egyptians. Because Egyptians and Israelites look alike. Give me all uh, Romans 11 and 1. Yeah. And what they turn in in Acts. Acts 1, yeah, Acts. When they called them Egyptians. Wow. Yeah, Paul. Now listen to this, Romans 11 and 1. Now look, Paul was Israelite. That's now right. listen to this. The book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? Have we God chosen people? They think God chose the people and they cast away. All thing that happened to us, we went into slavery That's for right. breaking his commandments, for breaking his gut. You want to know why we in the conditions we in for being disobedient to the commandments of God? That's it, man. You think a nation of people can keep us captive this long? You think a nation of people can rule over us this long without God, without divine intervention? The most high put his hands on us for being disobedient to him because we his sons. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. Now listen to what Paul said, read. For I am also an Israelite. He said, but I also am an Israelite, read. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Well, he said, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. Which make up the so-called, oh, which make up you so-called Jamaicans today. Oh. Now give me that next one, uh, 21. Now look, now listen to what the other people, but when the other people see uh, Paul, listen to what they said about Paul. Paul just said he was a what? He was an Israelite. He said he was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Paul was a black man. Right. You didn't know that? Oh, look, this it is. I'm gonna show this. I thought about, okay, I know races pretty much start from, starting from us. As yeah. Blacks. Yeah. So I can't really specify because I'm, I'm not a, you know. Yeah. As, as, as yeah, so on. that's what they teach in church. I'm, they teach you that Paul like, was a white church. man. <laughs> <Fuck church. laughs> they, te they teach you that he was a Roman white man. Right. He was a Roman citizen, just like you, American citizen. Yeah. But you ain't American. You an Israelite. That's, that's, right. that's why he said, look, but I too am an Israelite. For the tribe of Benjamin. Now listen to when the Romans saw what they said. Listen, read. The book of Acts, chapter 21, verse 37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, 
Can us out speak Greek? So he asked Paul. He asked Paul, can you speak Greek? Read. Art thou thou, art not thou that Egyptian? So he asked Paul. He said, art not thou that Egyptian? But what nationality is Paul? He an Israelite. Yes, boy. How do the is Egyptians wrong, look? Is it wrong to say a black guy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was a black guy. Yeah. So how do Egyptians look though? What color was the ancient Egyptians? Okay. Dang. But look, Paul said he was an Israelite though. So he sat up there and told this man, listen to what he asked her, Paul. Listen to this, read. Or thou thou Egyptian. He said, are not thou that Egyptian? Are not, ain't, ain't you that Egyptian? Why? Because what? The Israelites and the Egyptians look just what? Just alike. The Africans and the Hebrews look just alike. We Hebrews. That's what we're trying to do. Wake our people up. Because they don't know who the hell they is. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to stop you. No, you yeah. good. So no, what's up? I, I, I swear I, I, I respect you a whole lot. Oh, good. Okay. So how do we... Okay. We gotta know aggression is like one of the one things people will ignore. Aggression? Think well, look, it. when you talk either, about the either you're gonna be aggressive back or you're gonna ignore it. Well, look, I'm gonna show you something. First, check this out. Check this out. It's hard. First, I'm gonna show you something. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. This is Isaiah. First of all, you know Christ was a stern man. Christ spoke with a voice of a multitude. You gotta ask yourself, in order to speak with to 5,000 people, and so I'm talking like this, speaking to 5,000 people. Got a point. Did they have this back in the days, talking to 5,000 people? Nah. So if Christ was talking to 5,000 people, Christ spoke rough. But when our people think of Jesus Christ, all that up, they think it is. That's what that brother down there was coming with. He was coming with this. We ain't coming with this. Who the hell is that, dude? This <laughs> says, hey, what you say? Hey, say it again, bro. Hold on. Say it for everybody loud and clear. What? Who the hell is this? He said, who the hell is this dude? That's Sandra Boonja. Bring it all out. That is a white man named Sandra Boonja. That's Pope Alexander the Sixth, son. Yes, this is not Jesus. Yeah. That's, uh, that's Sandra Boonja. Uh, Michelangelo, I mean, Leonardo da Vinci painted the picture of Sandra Boonja as Jesus Christ. That's right. So then, I'm, I see, that's the, see, you the first one out here to ask. Who the hell is this dude? That's right. Because everybody else will say Jesus. When Jesus looked just like you. I can show you Jesus looked like you according to the scriptures. You had, I got a thousand dollars right now. Somebody can show me this in the Bible. They can't show me this. That's but listen right. to this real quick. Listen to this. Now look, um, Revelation 1 and 14. Because who the hell is this dude? Listen, start at 13. Listen to this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. Verse 14. His head and his head. 13, read. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Now look at our image. We went in the Bible. We said, you know what? Let's depict the image of Christ. That's right. Let's bring the image of Christ to life. Hold that up. Where are they seven candlesticks at right here? Where are the seven candlesticks? The Bible said, what? Read that again. What? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So look, it said, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, read. One like unto the Son of Man. I see one that looks just like a man in the midst of these seven golden candlesticks, right? Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a garment going all the way down to his foot, right? And the girth about the paps with a golden girth. He had a big golden girth around his uh, waist, looked like a heavyweight championship belt, right? That's what I'm saying. Christ was hardcore. What a golden girl that. What a golden nerd at? <laughs> right. Jesus Christ was hardcore. Read what you got. Right. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The, his hair, his hair and his hairs was white like wool. The hair on his head and the hair on his face was white like wool. Bring it on. Read what you got. As white as snow. As white as snow, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says his eyes was as a flame of fire. Well, you don't see that. Why couldn't they give us this depiction right here? Because they know who you are. You don't know who you is. They know laws that keep you in sin. Why come you think uh, they always feed us evil communication? The scriptures say evil communication corrupts good mountain. Why you think all this out there rap music, man? Listen to the music that we that we play. It don't do nothing but corrupt good mountain. Read what you got. Verse 14, verse 15. And his feet, his feet, read, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a fur. What color is brass? 
Okay, we're gonna go about okay. What okay. Yeah, we're gonna go Brands, yeah, okay, Christ is what? A black man, right? <laughs> you throw anything in the furnace, it's come out black. Give me Daniel's 10 and 5. Now yeah. this what this what John the Revelator said he saw. That's right. Now let me show you what Daniel the prophet said he saw. Listen to this. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold. A certain man, a certain man, just like he said, sitting in the midst of the sun, seven candlesticks, I seen the son of man. Read. A certain man, clothed in linen, whose loins, whose loins was what? Was girded with fine gold of Ufat. The same, big, same, gold, same gold, you, uh, gold and gold on, read. His body also was like the belt. He had on a green garment that went down to the foot. That's why we got the green garment on her. Like unto the barrel, cause that's the color barrel, read. Right. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Read. Cause it's the scripture say wisdom causes a man's face to shine, read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. His eyes as lamps of fire. What did uh, John the Revelator say? As flames of fire. Right. Read up. And his arms and his feet. His arms and his feet. What? Like in color. Like in color. What did they call us uh, 60 years ago? Hold on, what did they call us 60 years ago? 40 years ago. What they call us in the 60s, bro? Colored people. They called us colored. <laughs> they called, hey, Christ was colored. Hold on, listen, this is read, read again. And his arms and his feet, like in color. Like in color. They called you color. Christ was color. Like in color to what? To polish brass. Polish brass is brown. Is a derivative of brown. That's right. So Christ is a black man. Yeah, see, right. the problem with our people, every time we come, every time they see a Bible, they think about the white man. That's, they, hey, that's how you know our people have been indoctrinated, our people destroyed. Every time, yeah. hey, I'm telling you. Yeah. And that's why, look, that's why we out here, give me Ephesians 5 and 26. Bring it out. We're trying to rewash it with the word of God. We're trying to show you the truth. We're trying to wake our people up out of this sleep. They in this trance out here, bro. It's time for our people to wake up. Listen to this. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Washing the water by the word. We're trying to wash our people with the word of God. When you go to 1 Peter 3 and 16, get that for me. 1 Peter 3, I think it's 3 and 6, 5, 16. When you go to 1 Peter 3 and 16, listen to this, read. Matter of fact, I think it's 4 and 11. 4 and 11. Go 4 and 11. Read what you got. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, it said, if any man speak, read, let him speak as the oracles of God. When we come out here, we commanded to speak with the bow. If you're going to speak, speak with the bow. I ain't going to sit up there and tell you that Jesus is white without using the Bible. You can't show me that image in the Bible. That said, Jaboon John, he was a homosexual, he slept with his sister. Read. <laughs> the dude's a crazy. That's why they push incest on you, her. That's why they push homosexuality on you, her. So can I ask you this? What's up? Not trying to interrupt. So okay. Can you celebrate Christmas? Oh no, give me Jeremiah 10 real quick. Christmas! Yeah. The brother asked, do we celebrate Christmas? Christmas don't got nothing to do with Jesus the Christ. Right. 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 Let me repeat. Christmas don't got nothing to do with Jesus the Christ. That's come from uh, uh, a pagan holiday called Saturnalia. Saturnalia, that's what they used to do, gay sex. That's why, you, that's it. see, with the oldest image up. See, with, with this image comes gay sex. That's what, with this image comes gay sex right here. It is what it is. Hey, with this image come bestiality. With this image come fornication, lies, murder, deceit. Right with this image. And look, our people so scared of the white man, when you talk about this image, they were like, no, nah, that's Jesus. Damn. They talking about Jesus. And, and that ain't what you say, that's what, bro? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Cause this yeah. ain't Jesus. Jesus. Read what you got, bro. The book of Jeremiah. Look, you speak against the image, our people get scared. You speak against this image, they like, oh, Christ come back to sky. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, Verse 1. Now listen to this, listen to this. The brother said that we celebrate Christmas. Listen, listen to this, listen. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So he talking to the Israelites. Read. Thus saith the Lord. This a commandment from God. Read. Learn not the way of the heathen. He 
said, don't learn to wear the heat. Don't learn to wear these other nations, Reed. No. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be dismayed just like right now. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because the Israelites coming back, bro. God building his wide is uh, raising up his army on earth once again. It's time for God to raise up his army on earth and judge this place, Reed. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are they. Now he better sit up there and go into a vain custom. What is a custom? A tradition, right? A tradition that somebody keeps, like a holiday or something, Reed. For one cutteth a tree out the forest. What custom do one take a tree and cut it out the farms and do what? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Really? They take it with silver and with gold. What custom do they take a tree and deck it with silver and gold? Christmas. Dig the he said, do what? Learn not what? Valley. Learn not what? Go back up. He said what? Learn not the way of the heat. So do we supposed to be celebrating Christmas? Hell no, we're supposed to be celebrating. We got our own high holy day. Right. We got the feast of dedication. Right. We got the Passover. Right. We got uh Purim. Right. We got uh man, we got uh the feast of tabernacles. Right. Uh man, we're gonna have a ball feast of tabernacles. Right. We had a ball last year. We just had Passover seven days, bro. Straight ball. You know what I'm saying? Everybody dressed like kings, our women dressed like princesses, bro. You know what I'm saying? On Christmas, people fight. God said, don't learn that custom. He said, the custom of the people are vain. That's right. This is our history right here. I'm Eldon Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.